Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. Thank you for the wonderful like, shares, and support. Um, we are here in the month of October 2020. I want to say to each and every person, thank you for the wonderful likes, shares, and support. Please share, share, share these videos. Thumbs up so that it picks up the health rhythm. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Wow. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, let's um, look at the energies that is going to be coming up in October. The month of October is a uh, uh, is a month of harvesting. So we have the energy of uh, um, the birthday people, the Librans. The two first week is going to be for the Librans, and the two last week is going to be for the Pisces and the energy of the Pisces is air. Wow. What a beautiful, beautiful, um, week, month, sorry. Um, the month is a water month. It is the month of the eye princess. And if you notice the eye princess did not come up in the layout, it is prominent, prominent energies, but it is the month of the eye princess. So what is going to be happening? What is going to be transpiring? Um, there is a, um, empowerment that is going to be coming in. But as we look at the energy here, where we're going to be going through, um, this energy, even that it is at the, the last. So, we see walking away from a situation and detaching yourself from a situation. And I see some sort of a sadness is going to be coming up. So whatever is happening and transpiring, a lot of you are going to be walking away, ending situation, moving away from situation that no longer serves you. Okay. And this is going to be wonderful and aligning with the energy. Um, it is a month of letting go and moving on, whatever is happening and transpiring. Okay, it could be someone walking away from you or an existing situation, closing the door behind you and going into the unknown, the mistake, removing the veil and looking forward to um, some sort of a familiarity. Okay, so this is wonderful because it's, it's about letting go of the whole and, um, and advancing in a new situation, detaching yourself from people and situation that has been happening to you. The undeniment and energy is that there will be financial stability for a whole lot of you. A cycle, something is going to be ending. The energy of number nine is here. Um, so be aware, but we have a sadness and isolation where you're going to be detaching yourself from something. Okay. So you can see this energy of sadness and isolation where there could be some heartbreaks because some of you are walking away, turning your back on some sort of an issue and situation and moving forward. Okay. So, um, liberance, someone could be turning their backs on you. Um, um, some of you Librans could be affected, but also some of you Tauruses, uh, um, could be affected. So we have, uh, um, Sagittarians, uh, uh Geminis, uh, Virgos, uh, and, uh, uh, Scorpion, Scorpions, uh, Pisces could be affected. Okay. So these people could be turning their backs on you guys or turning your backs on some sort of a situation. The energy of the Librans is coming up. Some sadness and detachments, whatever is happening and transpiring, some sort of a detachment, removal, and releasing yourself from something that no longer serves you and moving forward and creating a better a wealth of stability for yourself in whatever way this is going to be coming up and it's going to be extremely, extremely, extremely powerful. So ladies and gentlemen, before I do, let's go and see what is coming up. We have four weeks in the month of October, four very strong, powerful weeks. Um, a whole lot of you are going to be dealing with cooperation institution, Truths about cooperation institution is going to be uh, coming out. Some sort of a light is going to be um, 
um, place on a corporation institution and they're going to be investigating some sort of a situation and finding out what has been happening in a corporation institution that there was some illegal activities that was uh, done by either people in power or people in authority that has used their powers in a corporation institution. And if you notice, this is uh, the center. A whole lot of you are dealing with uh, these institutes, a corporation where light is going to be shedding on them and what they have been doing. Truth is going to be coming out. So October is going to be the month of... Uh, um, information um transformation in corporation institution and especially people who were dealing with some sort of a issues in corporation institution they're going to be finding out some sort of a, a play that was being done in some sort of a corporation institution so be aware of this because we have the corporation institution and we see light the hermit is shedding and showing up some sort of a, a situation that was uh, um, uh, going on in a corporation institution. Okay. So remember the first two weeks is hair and the two last weeks is going to be water. So be aware of this. This is like one of my favorite, favorite deck. Okay. So let's move into reading and check out what is going on. So in the first week of October, a lot of you are dealing with some sort of an authority figure or someone um, who has been using their powers in the wrong way. Okay, so someone in um, authority has been using their powers in the wrong way. It is going to come to an end in the first week of October. Um, people are going to be finding out what your boss or someone who was a very, very um, powerful and use their powers in a wrong way. And here you are seeing that this is uh, some sort of a business person, um, some sort of a person who has the power in order to do something was uh, doing some sort of a false uh, um, thing, the energy of the devil. So you have the emperor, the devil and debt. And what that is saying is that someone used their powers in a wrong way and created some sort of an issue and now they're bringing it to an end. Uh, it's going to be coming to an end in the first week. So be aware of this. So whoever this person, uh, situation, institution, it could be your husband, it could be your wife, it could be someone that is in power in a government institute, the organization, in a corporation um, that has been doing some sort of a wrongdoing. This is corruption and wrongdoing. This is some people who have power, who have done some sort of a break, some sort of a rule and create some sort of a, and has been doing some sort of a um, corruption. This is a corrupt um, boss, a corrupt leader, a corrupt person that has the power to do some sort of a situation. It's all going to be coming out and it's coming to an end. Okay, so that is good. Then when we look at the energy of the world, it's always a, a cycle is going to be over. So some of you, um, whoever was uh, using their powers against you, the cycle is going to be over. So whoever was being felt the ends of someone using their powers ever against you guys, this is going to be over because I see that they're going to be bringing this situation to an end and ending whatever false height and deceptiveness that was created. They're going to be ending this. So the cycle is going to be coming into someone who has been using their powers in the wrong way. So be aware of this. Then we see a cycle is over for a corporation institution and a lot of you are going to be coming out being the winner, the winner of uh, some sort of a false eye that was created in a corporation institution. A cycle, it could be at the workplace where people were working against you. It could be that um, you were fighting with a corporation institution for some sort of an injustice and equality that was created. And the energy of the world is uh, um, coming in to bring forward a cycle 
Okay, so there is some sort of a discipline, some sort of a changes discipline that is going to be coming up in some sort of an institute, say it could be at the workplace, because this is the energy of a huge corporation, institution or a business where some sort of a situation was going on and you guys are going to be coming out. If you have a business, this could be very good, successful, it depends on who you are, we're going to be looking at uh, who and what is coming up. So the second week um, is going to be good for a whole lot of people. Whenever the energy of the world comes up, that means some sort of a cycle is going to be ending in people's life, okay? Some sort of a cycle that was created and was happening in people, um, life is going to be coming to an end. And I see you're going to be happily releasing this energy and releasing whatever that was transpiring because you're realizing um, what was created around you. So in the second week, some sort of a balance. These two are balanced and it's going to be a lucky week also. It's going to be a balanced and lucky week. And this is going to be wonderful and positive. So it is um, really a um, um, positive experience that is going to be coming up. If some of you were having some sort of a issue that you were dealing with, you're going to be realizing how... Um, this situation is going to be affecting you. And this is why I always say to people, go look and see the general readings because the general reading align you and give you um, more information and a better, give, let you know and let you see and understand some sort of a better understanding of uh, situations that is going to be transpiring and this is absolutely fabulous because uh, the second week is going to be uh, the best week where balance is coming back but also luck is in the second week then when we look at the third week the third week is um some sort of information some sort of a breakthrough um, it is the energy of judgment, so expect some sort of a situation, information coming out. Light is being shed on a situation. It's going to be a really emotional week, but at the end of uh, um, the week, a whole lot of success is going to be coming in because people are going to be finding out about something. Some information is going to be coming in where light's been shed on something that was going on. And it could be a situation um, where some of you, situation with travel, situation with a car, situation with a Leo, name it. This week is going to be a week that is going to be shedding some sort of a light on a, some sort of a situation that was happening when it comes up to traveling, okay? And uh, it could be travel documents, uh, work permit, that sort of a things, import, export, that sort of a things that could be happening. But it could also be something to do with your car, some sort of a relocation, some sort of a information. But this as if uh, it could be over car dealership and that sort of a thing and how they um, create their wealth and how they, um, you know, um, uh, use their powers in order to accept. So expect some information. The third week is a week of information. Some sort of a light is shed on something that uh, some of you were not aware of that is going to be coming in and this is going to be fantastic. When we look at the fourth week and final week, the energy of the star, this is wonderful. Um, the energy of the star is coming in in the fourth week. Um, we begin the season of Scorpio and this is going to be good. The energy of the star, justice is coming up. So um, Scorpions, you can look for some sort of a justice. So if some of you Scorpions were having some sort of a legal issue, it is going to be good. It is going to be a good week. The energy of the star brings success, healing, positive alignment of energy with justice is a um a big win with a lawsuit people are going to be you have uh, the magic touch in this week okay so scorpions this is going to be powerful um you scorpion in the fourth week uh, the fourth week of october is going to be bringing in so air 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 and air it is a full air week <laughs> this is powerful Water in here is not really a positive um, stability, but trust me, 
Um, expect anything for the rest of the year that is coming up, ladies and gentlemen. These three quarters is going to be bringing you to um, a place where you're on your knees uh, realizing and seeing things that is happening and that is transpiring. So be aware of that. Oh, oh, oh. So life is going to be happening for a whole lot of us and we need to understand that. Um, but the most beautiful thing um, that we are having um, is the last week of October. The last week of October is going to affect in a whole lot of people. And this is going to bring, especially for the Scorpion, a victory moment with a lawsuit um, that has been happening. Some sort of a lawsuit that was created and that was happening. So be aware of that. Wonderful, wonderful alignment of energy. As we look at the T, um, the cross, um, a cycle is going to be ending because people are going to be um, finding out a whole lot of information that they were not aware of, okay? And a light is going to be shedding on a corporation institution that was having, that was corrupt, a corrupt corporation institution. Light is going to be shedding on that. And then I see a, um, a lot of success. This is a um, fortune, um, wheel of fortune and the chariot. A lot of success is going to be coming in and a whole lot of people are going to be overcoming some sort of a false um, a situation that was going on in a corporation institution because an end is going to be coming in and you can see this. So think about your workplace, think about things that you weren't even aware of in government institution, organization, and that sort of a situation. And I see a lot of people are going to be coming out being very, very successful. And now we are understanding why this energy came up is because some sort of a secrecy Light is going to be shedded on a corporation. Light is coming out. Information. The hermit is shedding light and letting people know of something that they were not aware of over some sort of a corrupt corporation because the energy of the devil is uh, um, beside this. So, so it's a corrupt corporation and justice is going to be prevailing. Um, because they found out something that was going on in a corporation that um, uh, and people were using their powers in order to uh, criminate and, and, and discriminate against a lot of people. And I see they're going to be standing their ground. It's as if uh, um, people in power is going to be coming in and standing their ground and realizing what this corporation was all about and how this corporation used their powers in order to manipulate uh, people on a whole and i see that people are going to be coming out because there is going to be the transition uh there is going to be a huge huge transition where um people are going to be victorious and this is like the massive of people are going to be very victorious people who could have been working for a utility company a telephone company um a, um, a bank institute, a corporation, a mortgage company, whatever that was transpiring. Some of you were being cheated out of a whole lot. And I see that whatever come out about this corrupt corporation, a lot of people are going to be overcoming this. And I see a victorious out end for whatever the issue and the situation is. So, so it's going to be beautiful no matter what is happening. We're looking at the energy coming in and what we're seeing here as we look at the first week with this emperor, whether this person is, um, was corrupt. It was very a corrupt person or a corrupt group of people, very corrupt people were, they were using their powers in the wrong way. It's going to be coming to an end. And, um, we see the cycle is going to be ending for people who were corrupt and using their, their powers in the wrong way. Um, this is really going to be ending. Um, then we see um, they're going to be finding out that a boss in a, in, in a corporation has done some sort of a, a, was very, very corrupt and was doing things that was not aboard water 
and um, I see a lot of you that was dealing with this corporation is going to be victorious and successful because they're going to be seeing that a manager or a boss or a group of CEO, CFO has done some false act and it is going to be over in the first week of October because they're going to be finding out and intervening in a situation to help out some of you. Then we see a cycle is over with the corruption that was going on. This is the energy of the devil. Outside influence that was affect, uh, um, affecting some of you. This is definitely over. The cycle is over. Um, and this is going to be um, absolutely powerful. Um, a judgment call, a huge judgment call is coming down on a corporation that could end this corporation. So people are going to be finding some sort of uh, information about this corporation, which is going to be ending this corporation because of this judgment call. Whatever information that is coming out about a corporation is going to be ending this corporation and ending the corruption and what they were doing against people. And this is going to be good. Then when we look at the energy, um, we see um, light is going to be shed. A whole lot of you are going to be successfully coming out of some sort of information because truth is going to be revealed. And I see a lot of you, your fortune is going to be coming in. Definitely truths are going to be revealed about some sort of a um, information with a corporation. Justice is going to be coming in and balance this out. And you are going to be successful coming out of some sort of an issue that was happening. So um, justice prevail and I see light has been shed. Um, the magician comes up to shed some sort of a light over some sort of a situation that was going on in a corporation. So in the second week, the energy of the world in the second week is showing up uh, some sort of an outside influence for some of you or some sort of a corruption in a corporation institution that... Um, a boss had created and they're, uh, they're seeing the truth. And I see a whole lot of you are going to be victoriously coming out of this. And a cycle is definitely going to be ending for a corporation. And this is like a huge corporation. And a lot of you are going to be happy that the truth came out about what was happening in this corporation. In the third week, I see information about um, a huge government corporation. This corporation end is going to be coming in as to whatever that was transpiring. The light has been shed and I see a lot of people are going to be victorious. It could be an auto dealer um, that people are going to be finding out what this auto dealer did and how um, this auto dealer created some sort of an issue selling people information, that sort of a thing. It could have bank in um, international corporation that... Uh, um, some sort of a fraud was created. Judgment, um, information is going to come in and justice is going to be prevailed. And this is going to be absolutely, absolutely fabulous because people are going to be finding out things and stand up and demand justice in some sort of a situation. The star is um, showing up that a whole lot of you, especially Scorpion, that was going through some sort of an issue that you're going to be getting out of this situation because they're finding out and seeing the truth about what has transpired. Your best, best week is going to be the last week of October. Positive alignment of energy. And I love when the wheel of fortune and the chariot comes in, when a transition comes in to some sort of a, um, um, corrupt situation or some sort of a people that was using their powers in the wrong way. And this is going to be absolutely wonderful and fantastic because it's about life is about to change for um, people on this planet and the world on a whole. And I see an end of is going to be coming into some sort of a corruption that was going on that people were not aware of. Oh, wonderful, wonderful, wonderful energies. So um, be ready and be awake. Now, in the first week, I see um, the Aries are going to be affected. Um, definitely the Aries is going to be affected. The Aries um, and the Scorpion is going to be affected. Whatever is transpiring, Aries and Scorpion is going to be affected in the first week. The second week, we have the energy of the Capricorn bringing back some sort of a Capricorn, Ver, uh, Taurus, and uh, Sagittarius. Capricorn, um, Sagittarius, and Ophio, uh, Ophiosus. 
So we have the Capricorn, the Taurus, uh, and the Ophiosis in uh, um, the second week. But the second week of the Wheel of Fortune, so a lot of you could be receiving a lucky break. So be aware of that uh, and align yourself with the energy. In um, the um, third week, um, this is when the Scorpio season begins, water. So we are getting out of air in the second week, going into water in the third week. And what we have is judgment, a judgment call. Um, this is good because um, it's a water week, ending the week with a fire, with you guys coming out victorious and successful. Because the Wheel of Fortune and the Chariot is always... Uh, um, um, protecting people so it affects each and every person it doesn't have to be um assigned to any sign these are general um energies these are the arcanas that come in these are happy arcanas these are yes arcanas so that is going to be good last week is um is going to be so we have the um yeah the scorpions the scorpions and the leo and i see um, the scorpions is going to be showing up something about the Leo, so be aware of that. Um, with the, 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 the situation with the scorpions and the Leo, be aware of that. Then we see the energy of the star. The energy of the star is here, um, where Aquarians, Librans, and Geminis. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh yeah. Aquar, Aquarians. Liberance and Geminis are going to be having a powerful lucky break the end of October and this is going to be fab, fab, fab and more fab. I want to say to each and every person, um, please thumbs up these videos, share these videos, um, shed light on what is going to be going on because trust me, um, a lot of things for the last three months of this year, just brace yourself because things are going to be happening. Things are going to be transpiring. You got to be aware. This month begins with a fire energy. Then you have balance in the second week, the energy of the world. Then in the third week, it's water. Then um, you have all four elements that is coming up. You have fire, earth, water and hair okay so be aware of uh, um what is coming up and what is transpiring because your world is about to change it is absolutely a time where a lot of uh, situation is going to be happening and transpiring you gotta be on top of your game there is no question about this it's about being on top of your game it's about realizing that the world is about to change in a very, very powerful way. So you have to be on top of your game in this month. Changes are coming in whole on because a lot of changes are coming in. I love you guys. Please thumbs up, like these videos, let all the people know what is going on. And I will speak to you in your own Zodiac reading. Namaste.